yeah, yeah. Okay, and the Mr. Bogle himself, Mr. Wacky, the girls them snacky. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I feel like it's been a little while. Uh, it's probably been like a week or so. I have been remarkably busy. But yeah, I really wanted to do today's video. So yeah, if you are new here, my name is Shalane. I mostly go by Shal. And my channel is a space for Caribbean content. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I am most upon a like, you know, you know the shorts. But today's so guys, I, I love music, alright? So I grew up heavily in church and my dad's a musician. That's not like his career but like my dad plays the guitar and i somehow learned to play the piano i can't read musical notes neither can my dad but we play by ear i would say i'm from like a fairly gifted family when it comes down to music like a lot of us can play different instruments and then a lot of us can also sing not me though i'm not one of the singers but yeah we can play keys isn't it? Uh, probably one day we play phone but i love music and something about music before my time really 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 gets me like you know you know them say oldies are the best and rate and whatever but like older music in all genres really 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 speaks to me because i love you know like scan like lovers rock and all of that but then i also really love like older jazz music from like frank sinatra the entire rap pack ella fitzgerald i also love older american rock music you know stuff by the eagles the doobie brothers hall and oats like i have a very very old palette when it comes down to music i love new stuff too but yeah i really 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 love older music so it inspired me to do this video Unfortunately, I cannot play any music or any songs from any other artists that we're going to talk about because copyright not gonna get me. Like copyright just ugh. And then I up my phones. <laughs> and then I also thought about playing the music myself for you guys. But apparently, even if I play a snippet of the music, it still gets flagged. So I was like, all right, we might um one one two. Tune and well, like a rock and then something there, but no, not too tough. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, let us get into my little list. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to count. Wait, before we even do that, let me explain what the video is about. In today's video, duh, I'm going to talk about artists that I believe the video stopped record. Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> I'm going to talk about artists that I believe we lost too soon from the Jamaican community. I was going to do the Caribbean community, but I wanted to focus on Jamaica because I do believe there are quite a few artists that we just lost entirely too soon. And you know, I really wish they were still here making music. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the list down from oldest so we lost them too early but i'll start with those we lost at an older age straight down to like the youngest one so let us dive into the list and i will start with the very popular peter tosh now me personally i don't listen to peter tosh that much right the songs i know from him and i had to her i had to write them down i don't really know any of his songs that he um he had as a single artist there's a song called Legalize It that I guess was very popular and then I know that when he was a part of the Wailing Wailers they had Simadon which is a bop and then when he was a part of just the Wailers they had no Get Up Stand Up he wasn't a part of the Wailers was he? because I did bad song but he was on that song but anyways Peter Tosh so Peter Tosh died at the age of 42 years pretty young like I need people to live to 70 and good people to live to 70 and above like 42 is is young he was from Grange Hill um, so he was born 1944 he died in 1987 so back in the 80s and I actually learned this today I did not know that he was murdered oh my god so I guess he returned from touring overseas and three men it was a three-man gang pulled up on him at his home and demanded money and he said he didn't have any money and they didn't believe him and there were other people at the house so the older heads might know this. People who are really were really into Peter Tosh are really into people might know this, but my assumption is that people don't know, so I'm going to say 
everything you get me so if you already know this info nobody be like oh i already know this me just said this so that everybody would everybody can learn he was murdered by a man that he had actually befriended this man's name was dennis lepo loban loban one thing with jamaicans we're going to give a nickname so everybody be call him lepo dennis lepo loban lepo and this man went to jail rumor has it that he went to jail for Peter Tosh, I don't know if there's any validity to validity valid, validity to it, but apparently when he got out of prison, Peter Tosh kind of you know would help him out, give him money, try to help him find a job, and all these things. So Peter Tosh returns home, and this Dennis guy Lepo and two other guys pulled up, and Peter Tosh was at home with several other people. He was there with two musicians, two other musicians, and I believe. Peter Tosh's common wife Marlene and one of the musicians, one of the musicians' wife. But Peter Tosh died that night, and so did two other people who I forgot their names, but they are important. Um, he was shot twice in the head. So this one guy that was there, Carlton Davis, um, he he was a drummer in the Whalers. He he was the one who kind of um, recognized the Lepo guy, and he said that. Marlene, which was Peter Tosh's common-law wife, he said that one of the gunmen yelled at her saying, oh, you know, this is your fault. And rumor has it is that Marlene was running her mouth to Lepo and badmouthing Peter Tosh. So I, I make what y'all will of that, but the the story that is that I saw mostly online is that they wanted money. Peter Tosh said he didn't have any, said he was going to go to the bank the Monday. They never believed him and they, they just started firing off you know erratically and they pew pew peter tosh and yeah two other people were unalived so <clears throat> so yeah really really sucky you know um i feel like if he was around longer would have definitely gotten some some more you know good music some more of his solo career i don't even know but yeah too soon too soon next on the list tying at the same age, it's Dennis Brown. Dennis also died at the age of 42. Dennis Brown was born in Kingston in 1957, and he died in 1999. Now me, my cat talk about Dennis Brown all day long. Dennis Brown sang them. Dennis Brown sang them. Do something to me. If I had the world, listen to me, man. Listen, love has found its way. Money in my pocket, but I just can't get Hey, I tune them, you know? Ain't that loving you? Well, he did a cover of that. Um, hold on to what you got. A big A. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This love of mine. If I follow my heart. Hey. Hey. Yo, I chewed it up. Anyways. The way he died. So apparently he suffered a cardiac arrest. And he went into hospital and then he died of a pneumothorax, which is a collapsed lung. I didn't see anywhere where it said he had any kind of like pre-existing conditions or whatever. You know, some, sometimes people just die. Um, but I, I love me some Dennis Brown. I wish he was here today to see just how much his music has transcended, you know, the decades. Um, yeah, like... Like, I play Dennis Brown music like every week, every week, like my love, my love, love Dennis Brown, hope he's resting very peacefully. Alright, next on the list, this guy, he's not necessarily a musician, but he's indeed an artist. We're talking about Mr. Olande. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let me do one dance, let me know. I don't know who me I talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and Mr. Bogle himself, Mr. Wacky, the girls them snacky. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Wacky, born 1964, died 2005 at the age of 40. Again, pretty young, very young guy. Um, we all know the controversy surrounding this, right? Mr. Wacky got into an altercation with Beanie Man and Fiend Squad and he went to a gas station in his ford f-150 and he had four more people in the f-150 with him and two guys pulled up on a bike and opened fire on the f-150 on a live in mr wacky and one more person and something i just learned i never know so john hype you guys know john hype he was you know mr wacky's biggest dancing rival me never knows that it's the 
same night, them pew pew wacky, them burn down Janai house. At the first me and what that? And that Dini man offered a one million dollar reward to find the killers. When everybody said that Dini, that Dini do it. Um, when say, hey, hey, them tell one bag and I am, 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 I but anyway, so Mr. Wacky is popular for, you know, creating Willy Bones, Wacky Deep, Sesame Street, Road the Boat, Zip It Up, Old Town Bad, Bo- I uh, make this, why me thinks I the dance here? Yeah? I, I, did, all right, this name Bogle, no so? Me thinks I this a dancer make from like the 1960s, 70s, I never know say, like, fairly, like what, early 2000s he met Bogle? Me think that the dance that they're on from like the 60s, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving right along. We love the video, you know, the video of vibes, because we love music. Alright, this is one that everybody know. We know, we know, we know, we know. Every little thing is going to be alright. Mr. Bob Marley. Bob Marley died at the age of 36 years old. So he lived 1945 to 1981, which means he died six years before Peter Tosh. We love the little match there, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, he was only 36. Me not have to tell him no Bob Marley accolades. I don't have to tell. We all know Bob Marley put Jamaica upon the map. We know how him died. You know, there was this big ugly bruise and then two nail and them things here football injuries. So they did nothing about it. Come to find out, it was Melanurmer. And I do think that Bob would be alive today if he had gotten that amputation. But the man said, I come here with how much toes? I'm going back with that amount. And so ultimately, so, and he died. I thought he died sooner than he did. He died four years after the diagnosis. Me, the thing said, him get the diagnosis and just like dead like a week later or something. But the movie, the Bob Marley movie, taught me that he actually died four years after. But yeah, man, 36, I young, young, like I'm 32. I have to think about that. Jesus Christ. But yeah, young, young, young age, that's young, imagine, young age. But Bob should have died, man. Bob should have died, but. It is what it is. All right, we're moving on. So, this one, yeah, guys, this one hurt me to the core. <sighs> At number five, at the ripe age of twenty-eight, Mr. Garnet Silk, Jaja, hey, Garnet Silk not being here anymore hurt me, no man. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. When you, when you, it's grow. Love inside and it was showing just in time, brothers and sisters. May I open a flag, me Jesus Christ, copyright, please be in yourself, be in yourself. Listen, man, fill, up, fill us up with your mercy. Man shall not live by bread alone to a a big tune them here, no? I don't know about them yeah. Uh, hey, alright. Anyway, so, Garnet Silk. <laughs> oh me. Oh my. But, hey, listen. <laughs> Garnet Silk. So, he was from Mandeville. Born in 1966, died 1994, right? Age of 28 years old. Like, so young. So young. Wanna know Garnet Silk got his name for his silky voice? Yeah, um, and he died trying to save his mom from a house fire, and and that blows. We had the mother did die too. Uh, Mega look it up, but yeah, man, Garnet, twenty eight, twenty eight, a baby, my guy, like Garnet should have died. Them said one of the good die young, but that's not true still, cause Nelson Mandela didn't live a very long life. He was a very good man. Anyways, I digress. Point is, I really wish that, you know, Garnet Silk was still here. Like, yeah. Yeah. Alright, and we are down to the final person. Drum roll. Alright, that's not really drum. Drum roll. <laughs> um, before I reveal the final person, maybe you want to, like, take a guess who you think it might be. Unless I put it in the thumbnail, then that, that, that defeats the purpose. All right, the final person, and actually the only female on my list, is none other than J. Capri. <clears throat> J. Capri's death was very shocking and just very, very sad. 
Jacoby was only 23 years old. She was born in 1991 and she died in 2015. So it's been nine years. Jesus. She died, um, she met in a car accident at the Barbican Road. I believe she crashed the white Mercedes off a of Barbican Road or something like that, lost control. She was in the hospital for one week um, in an induced coma because she had like brain swelling and TB, um, TBI, traumatic brain injury, TBI. And they, uh, they also asked for like a lot of donation, like blood donations because she had so much blood loss, but essentially, you know, she succumbed. And that's, that's just, it's just really sad. <sighs> the one that did hurt me because I feel like what Shensia is trying to do now, even though Shensia will always get ahead or get far because Shensia fits a certain aesthetic physically. You know, pretty privilege is a very real thing. Shensia is talented in my opinion, but Talent or not, Pretty Privilege will still carry Shensia to places that other DJs and Jamaican artists will never, ever go. However, what I'm trying to say is Jay Capri would have been, to me, on the levels right now of the Shen Yangs and, uh, um, what did the bottom girl name? Jada Kingdom and who else? Stark, Ashmi and them. She probably would have surpassed them because Jay Capri had talent. Why not catch the bad piece of song, you know? Pull up to my bumper, it's a bad piece of song, you know? Bad, bad piece of song, them. Like, J. Capri had talent, and for her to be taken out at 23, no man. That hurt my heart. That hurt my heart. Like, I would have loved to see more from her. To this day, I'm still always like, I'm not a I'm not a funny. I'm like, what it up? But, bad piece of song. Bad piece of song. And, it's one of them songs there where again transcends time because if you play if you play why not catching a one dance right now people are going you know you know steal out even though to be fair does music ever get stale in jamaican society because if you think about it you know most dance start off with a silly indian you know like a 1990 something silly indian song so or a 1990 something shania twain or love for those two women is it should be studied um, anyways, I digress. So yeah guys, that is my list. I think no one on this list that hurts me the most from a musical aspect would probably be Dennis Brown. Like I said, I really really love Dennis Brown's music. I, I, I just, I love his music. And then in terms of, you know, the age and where they were in their career would be Jay Capri because she was just, just taking off. Just, just taking off and boom, she was taken out. You know so but let, let me know what you guys think let me know if there's anybody else that i missed like because obviously i don't know everything and everybody but i think i covered the core people that are like you know well popular in the the music world altogether. but yeah anyways you guys thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time bye subscribe